Step a little more left. Open the right rein. You see you lost the hind leg there. It started good, but now you've lost. Now put the hips over to the left. There. There. Now what's happened is he's taking a much bigger step on that left hind, which is hopefully going to help your walk. Do that again. Small circle, then leg yield out. You, you got too much bend in the neck there now, though, because you're trying to you're trying to articulate to him by straightening and bending where you want him to move. Okay, now put the hips over to the left more. Over left more. There. Good. And then to trot. So I want you just to bring his neck down and out a little bit more. That's it. How many more prelims before you can go to the one star? Three. And then you can sell them. Sorry. And then you more can... right hand forward. There. Now as you post, I want you to put a little more pressure from the left leg into the right rein so he starts to accept that, okay? And a little longer in the neck. Good, then change direction. The other one's better anyways. There's like a big umbrella over here. That would be super. Can you just make one of those happen? I can materialize one out of thin air. Right hand forward, only on your gaming system. I know, right? Now bigger step, post bigger. There you go. A little bigger. Good, and then straighten on that right rein. Position left, I'm mean, sorry, position right. But do you see when you took the position, he got stiff behind. He didn't stretch around your right leg, and that's what I want him to do, okay? So open the left rein a little bit on the circle. On the circle, good. And what I want him to do is stretch more through that right side. Like that, like that. Good, left hand forward, longer in the neck. Good girl, good girl. Now forward a little bit. That's better. Good. The right rein when you do it. There, good. And then push him up in front of that right leg. That's it. So the frame's good. I like the shape through the back, but I would say we're lacking the forward step, okay? You gotta move him up into a little bit of a medium ID in the trot. Keep tempting him for more. There you go. That's better. Now that's just, I mean, that's easily a point and a half better in the step. It's gone again. Push him forward again, like that. Then he doesn't look like a little mincy thoroughbred. Bigger step, arch your back, bring your shoulders back over your hip and try and thrust more from your hip like you're trying to create that bigger step by how you post, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now bigger. And then position a little right. Good, and forward. Forward. That's it. Go, 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 go. Finish it. There. Now allow him to bend left, but don't let him fall through the right rein. That's okay. Straighten him a little on the right side and move forward again. You're good. You're good. There you go. And then bend right. Try and post as well with your seat a little closer to the pommel. Okay, so that we end up with his his, low, his uh, back and from the hip to the saddle to get a little bit more freedom. The wither doesn't move, so you want to put your hips as close to the wither as possible. Now move forward. Watch uh, Kim Banowski and uh, Natalie Bukart. Okay. They scrunch their hips up into the pommel and then it allows the horse's back to, gun it, to move more. It makes sense. Yeah, go on a bit. Forward again. Yeah, so remember, it's like going up steps, right? You're gonna go up a step and keep them at it for a little bit, then up the next step and keep them at them a little bit. Go, and you should continually be working up those steps, forward more into the right rein. There, that's better, that's better. Now manage it, and you're gonna change direction, and in the change of direction, you're gonna ask them to go a little bigger. A lot of times, you'll get it off that change of direction where you've struggled the one way, go.
Was it the right front? Good. Was it the right front? Uh, left. Left front. And push him up a little into the left rein. And now counter flex a little. And then go up another step. So straighter in the neck. That's better. Good girl. Now hold your seat out of the saddle a smidge longer so you encourage him to take that bigger step, okay? Bigger, bigger, good girl, you're fine. That to me is where you're gonna get afraid and try and back him down so that you don't have to manage it. I want you to challenge him. There, left bend, put him up in front of that left leg. Up, up, bigger step. Go, go, go. That's it. You're fine, don't panic, don't panic. And now go again. There you go. Now stay there. So the, the not panicking over there was to maintain. Then you go up one more step. So you weren't in it yet, but just staying there. Stay there. Good. Give him a chance to get comfortable. Then you can ask more. Not yet though with him here. That's enough. Stay there. And now forward. Good, from your hips, bigger. There, now change direction. And go, 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 go. In through the left side into the right rein. It's all right. Good, now forward again. I think you can get it now. I think you can get it now. Thrust your hips more. Keep the right side. Right bend, You're, so now counter flex a little bit. On the circle, he's gotta be straighter. Now left hand forward, straighten him on that right side and go. You're close. You, you're supporting him now on that left rein. There, do you feel that? Yep. But the thing is, is it's too easy to back off before that and then you never accomplish anything. Close the right side, push him into that right rein. Support him in that right side, support him. There, there. And then change direction. And it takes a while to get him to, and I mean takes a while as in months and weeks and whatever, to get where you can hold it for him. You're okay. Good. Good, Lauren. Come down here to the corner line and leg yield to the wall. Bigger step there. You're good. That's enough, into that left rein. Good, good. Straighten. Keep that right hip over more. Okay, let's say that wasn't bad, but I'd like you to cover more territory to this laterally, okay? Go forward there. Good, if he hadn't lifted his neck, he would have been perfect. That lost his balance a little bit, but the effort's not bad. Good, good, good. Now straighten and then go. Go, go, go. Not covering enough with that right hind. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now on this next side, go forward. Left rein, bigger step. Close, a little lower in the neck. There you go, good girl. That's it, no, that's you feel great. that? But you're creating that, okay? But the problem is, is before that happens, there's a lot of shit to get through, good. <laughs> good, and then change direction. When you change direction, give me a little more to work with. You're good, there. Brilliant. That's your horse, okay? Now you just keep balancing him up with that. Keep balancing, don't back off. We didn't like that. That's all right. Get a little more into the right rein. There you go. Good, now find your quarter line again. Now we're getting somewhere. Good. Okay, quarter line. A little more support on the right side and go. Do try to keep them straight, maybe a smidge longer before you come across, okay? okay. You go up, push them up in that right rein. It's a little harder that way, but it makes them more accurate on the aids. Push them up. Take a little feel on the right rein. Good boy. Going into your corners, you've got to find a way to turn his wither more effectively, okay? Now go. Ooh, well done. Oh, you had the steps. Good. But then he kind of did that and stopped moving. Do you feel that? Yeah. And then you'll come back from M and do the same thing to K. 
We got a lot of territory to cover because I don't think this ring is dimensionally correct. Yeah, good for you. Turn his head a little right. Put his hip, hips over, hips over, hips over. Head right. Head right. Don't get his wither there. Get his ass there. Now back this way. You're okay. Left bend. And go. You need to get deeper in your corner. Look to where you want to get to. Look where you want to get to. Realize you're late. Realize you're late. Put his hip over. Put his hip over. Put his hip over. <laughs> That's all right. The thing is, is the challenge of it is what's going to make him more elastic and easier later. Now, get in the corner. Look. And now go. You got it that time. Better start. There you go. Open the right rein. Open the right rein. Slow the shoulder down on the left side. Ah, well done. Good. And again. Left bend, left bend, more, more cross, more cross, more cross, more cross. You see, you should have panicked like that much earlier. <laughs> so, I mean, because that's what you need to do, because then you'll be able to moderate between those two steps. And it's getting better, you're fine. There you go. Easier, right? Yeah. Now, just got to maintain it. That's why I'm trying to get you the whole diagonal. It's hard to maintain. Keep the left side a little slower. Good. One more time and then you're gonna just trot around this around this small arena. Hips over. Hips over. Panic. There. Panic earlier. Panic. There. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Alright, and straighten and go. Into the right rein and try and get a bigger step. Keep the neck down a little, that's good there. All the way around the arena, but you gotta balance your corners more. So the skill is maintaining what you've created. Now come forward and this should be quite good. Because this outside wall is helping you. You need to have more right thigh to right rein here. Without taking his head out, there. Good, now push the wither around and forward. Nice, a girl, bigger circle now. Circle in that same trot. Bend, bend right, bend right. Good, and change direction. Yeah, and up in front of that left leg and go forward. 